been out of chat. Hey, young and we live for this. Chill. When I pop out, you see me in Fendi. Fendi. Two Dalmatians counting Benji. The whole gang here for this. Okay, so I'm finishing getting ready right now. I just made breakfast and it smells so good. Today I have a few errands to run, a few things to film, and I'm gonna give you guys an inside of my car tour. So excited to show you guys. If you haven't already seen me getting my license and buying my car, make sure to go click right here. <laughs> I'm dropping Hi, off the shirt that I borrowed. Ooh, let's yeah. do a haul of my clothes. Ooh. Cause. Thank you. And free pajamas. Oh, I always need me some of these. I'm really wearing some right now. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. So we're about to go to the Supreme store because we need to drop off the. I accidentally got the wrong size underwear for my boyfriend as a gift. So guys, I'm a horrible she, girlfriend. All right, bro. She said horrible girlfriend. Guys, for our 10 month anniversary, she got me supreme underwear, bro. But she's crazy, bro. But anyways, we're gonna um, go exchange them real quick. Yeah. Before they close. They're just a little too big, so we need a small. And then we have a bunch of other shit to do. So baby behind the wheel, shit's crazy. We'll catch you guys when we're there. Six and a half hours later. All right, y'all. We made it to the Supreme store. <laughs> So we're on our way to the container store. We need to get some new containers and I'll catch you guys when we're there. Okay, we pulled up to the container store. Are we parking right now? It looks closed. Closed? Huh? We just got here. I didn't even know there was one at the Grove. Oh, it's not even closed. It does look closed though. The one at Westfield is definitely more crowded, but this just gives us more room to search for what we want. Oh my gosh, imagine how a pantry like this. Oh my god. We literally have it stocked up with containers from the containers. Yeah, we really would. 12 seconds later. We got too fancy. We always went to the Westfield one. They were always stocked up on everything. These people are like, maybe online. How are you gonna be a store and not carry what you literally are supposed to carry? Okay, so we're gonna go across the street to Ross and see if they have any like containers for like juice that we can use. Let's hope, cause we have nowhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me how we park for 10 minutes. And we they literally charged, us. charged, they literally charged us money. Like we didn't even buy anything. We literally were there for less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes and they charge us. But that's just LA for you right there. All right, we're pulling up to Ross right now. So, oh my of God, course. Ross is paying the park. This shit is crazy though. Guys, this one says a dollar a minute, so. Wait, what? Yeah. A dollar a minute? Yes. You know this one used to be free parking. Really? Because I lied. Oh, <laughs> you're so rude. We love Ross, so we're probably gonna be stuck here for a little longer than we need to be. I literally love the prices at Ross. Like, you can never go wrong. They have so many cute ones. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this one. Oh my god. Should we get this? No. What? Why not? Baby, we have so guys. Feel this. Look at how cute it is. We have 30 blankets. Because blankets, like, you can never go wrong. We need that. Like, you hate that blanket? No. Look at how cute. Um, on the bed. Okay, you're gonna have to swap it for a blanket. Look how much money it is. Oh, hell no. She said on the bed. It's only $13. You hate it? On the bed? I don't really want a juicy couture blanket on the bed. You don't? She think I want a juicy couture blanket on the bed. David, why do you hate juicy couture? I don't hate it, but how am I gonna... Play dumb. We already have a Louis blanket. Not that dumb. It's literally like $13, baby. Okay, get it. Not for the bed, though. The couch is... Yeah, we don't have space, though. Oh, my God, this is so cute. I'm literally getting it. Okay. Literally it. We're gonna have to swap something. Okay, this is this is a Valentine's Day blanket instead of getting a Valentine's Day one because I was gonna get one. Why do we need a Valentine's Day blanket, bro? Oh, my God, because it's what? Valentine's Day. We need a new blanket. We always need a new blanket. What? 12 seconds later. 
Come on. You really want, come on. You know we're not waiting in this line. Guys. I'll do it for you. I know. Everyone knows how rare this is. Okay. Look at the polka dot. I'm just gonna. All right, now we're on Melrose. Um, I don't know, we're just gonna look for a few things and I'll let you guys know whatever we do. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go to Target right now. We literally just ended up looking around and not getting anything, so I'll let you guys know when we're there. Eventually. Okay, so we returned our stuff or whatever. We're gonna use the restroom and then- Probably go to the grocery store. Yeah. We're literally so hungry, we're at Food for Less. We got a bunch of good stuff. Bunch of good stuff. I'll let y'all know when we're home. Now for the part of the video y'all have all been waiting for. My car tour. If you haven't already seen the video where I bought my first car, make sure to go click right here. This is Tessa, she's a baddie. And let me show you what she looks like inside. Don't mind that it's all chunky, I have like money in here right now, but since this is my car, this is my key. So I usually just keep it in this pouch, walk up, unlock it pretty freaking simple let me just first start off by saying i haven't had her for a long time i haven't really given her no type of pizzazz yet this is just the inside of a tesla model 3 that so happens to be my tesla model 3 period so let me give you all the whole rundown because you're my besties Let me show you the front. Must have been a chaff. Okay, so starting off in the driver's seat. This is my steering wheel. I love it. It's so smooth. It's perfect size and super clean looking. It has a really loud horn. I'm not gonna honk it. I honked it. I'm pretty sure I could change the horn sound if I wanted to. Right here, I can play, switch the songs pause or go back a song i'm not really sure what this one is for my lights i love them so much they're literally just little dots also my emergency lights are right here this button right here is how you like open the door and i also did find out that there is like a handle right here but it just seems so inconvenient to use when there's literally a button right here right here is for my windows so front window and then back windows, I can control all the windows because I'm the driver, period. On the side, it has these little knobs so you can move your chair. When you move it, it does ask, do you want it to save like this? So if someone were to get in and move it all the way back where you can't even touch, my car is gonna ask, is this for Premiere? And do you want to save your seat like this? So if I were to press save, every time I get in the car, it'll go like this. But if I weren't to press anything, I could move it however far back or close up I want, not move it back to Premiere's way and then when i get back in the car it'll still be Premiere's way like the car has a profile for me and it'll like put it to my chair however i want it i love this area right here it's under the screen we'll get to the screen in a little bit you just place your phone right here and it charges it cordlessly so that's super nice i have two cup holders right here that are already getting dirty this is why i need to put like cup holder coasters in there i have some really nice storage right here but all i have so far is this little thing to open the garage my passenger seat usually has my boyfriend but right now it just has my purse with my money this armrest has a lot of storage in here but i just have gum but it's like really big really spacious and right here is where i put my key this is what i keep my key in and i just like put it right there and that's how i start the car on the dash i do have this little mochi it doesn't have a name but i just think it's so cute it needed some type of decoration okay it needed something at least the back seat is pretty much empty but we're gonna check it out because i want to show you guys the whole car so the back seat does have its own air vents and fast chargers that you can plug into it also has its own set of little lights also i love that it has these little like hang your hooks that you could put clothes on or something and they're so satisfying to press i'm pretty sure these are speakers it does have like these but like probably won't use them because it'll just stretch out it has a middle console two cup holders period it has this right here if i need to connect like a baby seat on either one and i can also easily open my back seat to my trunk 
to make it bigger for like storing or just if I need to get back there, I don't know. I'm gonna show you guys right now how high the music goes. <laughs> So the screen does have a full map of like the world, obviously. I can just type in right here to navigate me wherever I wanna go and it does it. But I do be trying to get places without the directions, like I really do. I don't wanna have to rely on it, you know? Right here, I can open the trunk, open the front, lock the car, unlock the car. And also this is where my gas is. I just open it or close it from right here. It's actually electric, not gas, but same shit. That's where like I put it, you know? So down here are like the apps that i use the most i think except this one i've never used this one because i didn't set up my phone because why do i need to be on the road and on a call no ma'am this one is just all my cameras which i find really helpful this one is the movie theater so it has all entertainment netflix hulu youtube twitch tiktok tiktok like what and tesla tutorials that must be new because i didn't even see that the other day also you could go to arcade arcade has a bunch of different games i haven't really played any of them yet toy box toy box is my favorite because of this one mm. yep like what and also this one it's like romance mode. Okay, it's getting into oh, 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 my. That shit scared the fuck out of me. That fire mode will blast the heat. Like this one, you can like drive on Mars or something. This one is a rainbow road. I do want to set this one up because it looks so cute. And this one I would definitely set up around Christmas time. Right here is like all the other apps and also like essentials, my wipers, heated steering, heated seats rear defrost and front defrost this is my dash cam so tesla is like filming at all times so this is like our drive from today see it's like filming all the time energy i don't know what this is maybe this is gonna tell me like i don't know it looks like a lot of words i have not went on that yet calendar i didn't even know it had that so i could put my calendar on here i don't know i want to connect my phone but i don't want like calls to come through messages another thing that i need to connect my phone for zoom i could literally do my meetings in my car what the heck super essential browser is pretty much just like google but it's tesla google it does have a manual on here in case you need help spotify is a need bluetooth radio so you could do radio stations as well karaoke karaoke seems freaking cool i want to do that i don't know what that is i don't know what that is apple music and apple podcast so when you click right here on the car this is like my car and everything about it also just put her name as p killer because what model 3 it will probably say everything but this is my favorite part i could go any color and i could go like however i want it to look <laughs> that's sexy i love that so fine so fire i'm literally keeping it as that for a minute so i pretty much just have a bunch of shit right here there's so much stuff on here that it does have a search so you could just search for what you're looking for which super essential trust me so controls you have more stuff that you're gonna need i can open my glove box from right here and in my glove box i'm not putting anything except just like the paperwork for the car you could fold your mirrors automatically but they do automatically like fold like when your car's off you could turn child lock or window lock on with just the touch of a button which is super super good like super easy you can adjust your mirrors and you would just use like this one to adjust them this i'm pretty sure like you can stop the recording this is the the brightness for the actual screen i'm pretty sure it does it like auto though these are all settings that i haven't really touched and i've just been using like how it comes acceleration standard or chill is chill even like i don't know steering mode comfort standard sport okay yeah sport is nice stopping mode creep roll hold i don't know i haven't tested any of them out charging so right now i'm at 53 percent which is 132 miles this is not bad at all but i do really like to keep it more like 80 to 100 but it's okay autopilot i have it so that way when you double pull this like is when the autopilot goes on so that way i don't accidentally do it and i haven't really tested this out yet because i need to call tesla and make sure that it's all good because it said it got a recall locks this is like what can open it my phone can open it and my key can open it lights you can turn them on and off yourself but i just have mine on auto this is the display you can put it on dark but i feel like you can't really see anything like this so 
I changed mine to light. I'm pretty sure it came on auto when I got it because at night it'll go dark and then at morning it'll go light. Screen clean mode is like when you're wiping down your screen, which I need to do. And it's just so that way like nothing moves. Navigation, safety, service. So That's pretty much my whole Tesla. Ah! I love the blue. I'm so happy I get to share this with you guys. Y'all are for real my besties. For real. Thank you for coming with me to buy it. Comment down below if I should decorate it. Bye besties. Love you.